by not going to the mall and being able to get the product delivered to my house, you're avoiding looking for parking. You're avoiding to stand in line to pay for something. Mm. Um, it's, it's a much faster, smoother experience. Mind you, I don't mind going to the distributor. So similar to my m- most recent experience is I did my research online, realized this is a product I want. Okay, I'm at the point of making the purchase. I don't have an issue in buying it from the distributor right away. Mm. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a mall experience. For me, for other people, it might be different. Well, again, I mean, I, I, I talked to, for, for example, friends of mine in jewelry. And, and, and they've actually had to adapt in this period as well. So they say it was all about service and jewelry, mm. uh, especially the high-end stuff. So they go, they said, even then we were going to people's houses, but they would come into us a lot more. And now they're just going out and they're saying, we'll bring everything to you. We sort of understand your taste. We know what you like. You've been shopping with us for 15 years, 20 years, uh, or you have Amazing. a wedding in the family. We, we understand you want something classical, contemporary. We'll bring it to you and we'll let you see it over there. That personalization, I think, is... It has its perks. That's the evolution. Yeah, it has its right? perks. The evolution of what's happening now, I think, is that retailers, sellers, brands, all of these people now are realizing that they need to make you feel special because there's a million options now. Mm-hmm. We're, as you said, overstimulated. Mm-hmm. You want jewelry there's 700 jewelers you want electronics there's 700 places to go and do that and and different products and different things and i think you need to make that person feel special yeah now how how are you trying to cater to that like i'm assuming you you obviously have your subscribers list you have a list where you're kind of putting out whenever you're having sales all of that but are you guys looking at or playing with different kind of models to give so, that so, so you sort of have to. So we, we started that. And then and, and the reason we went into the the brand store business a couple of years ago was, was exactly for that reason. Because even six, seven years ago, we could realize that in the multi-brand electronics market, it was getting overcrowded. It was mm. getting oversaturated. And, 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 and there wasn't enough value addition between retailer to retailer. Uh, the products were getting commoditized. And uh, we happened to type with Samsung at, at that time. And, and it was a question of how do we get the experience in and how do we get people to, to enjoy that? Because you could go into a multi-brand store um, and, and, and you would want to buy a TV. And, and if you were looking to buy a Samsung and you had an LG guy standing in front of you, a Philips guy or a Sony guy, you know what you want. Yeah. And you don't want to be annoyed by that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or, or you go in there and you say, I want to look at the entire range from low end to high end or medium end to high end. Forget the low end. Um, that that that's a slightly different audience. And you say, okay, I want to look at the medium to high end, but in a typical multi-brand retailer, they're going to keep on display what sells the best. Exactly. Yeah. So then you're suddenly limited in terms of what you can experience and what you can see, or it's in an environment where you really can't, you don't have the space to look at it and understand it. And this person speaking to you doesn't quite have that degree of knowledge on it. He's the jack of all trades and the master of none, exactly. right? So, so this is this is sort of where we went down the brand store uh, route, and and it was a fairly big experiment for us at that time because everyone was sort of going from the mono brand sh- uh, uh, shop into the multi brand mm. uh, experience. So a lot of the traditional brand agents over here who were running the single brand stores or were known for having one brand or two brand and had a few others in there. So it started all going multi-brand and we went the other way. You went the opposite direction. Mm. And if you turn and say, why are you doing that when everyone else is doing this? And we sort of realized back then that you had to get the experience in because a customer wants to feel valued when they come in the store. Absolutely. And, 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 and if you understand who you're targeting and the level of service they need and the experience that they need, it does enough of that. So, we worked with Samsung when the Galaxy Note 7 episode happened. Mm. Um, well, that must have been very interesting. That was, that to, was fascinating. To work with. That was fascinating because <laughs> we went through two product recalls. Just just for your awareness, I'm like the hard, hardcore, diehard Samsung. He, he geeks out fan. on it. Yeah, yeah. He geeks out. And we have this argument because I'm a loyal Apple person and we always have this. I've had Note 5 up until Note 10. Yeah. And I'll continue yeah. until I'm proven that it's not. <laughs> 
So, so with the notes, this is such a skewed co- I, I, guys. I'm feeling so much pressure. I'm, I'm like, rooting for you all the way. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give you some lovely girl. <laughs> no, but I think just, just coming back. I mean, with the Note Seven, the, the, the whole problem was, and, and and for people who weren't aware of it, is 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 you had a product that Samsung released that was recalled twice uh, because of, of product failures uh, mm. that it had, and we had to redo it and 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 and, and uh, eventually refund everyone who bought it. Wow. Now we're used to taking your money and giving you the goods. We're not used to doing it the other way around. And we had to figure out which bank is open at Friday night at, at 3 a.m. Uh, because we needed cash in the store the next morning. And wow. then what the, what the withdrawal limit was in, in getting cash out and, and, and getting product in. And a lot of the retailers refused to do this. Yeah. So we were asked, take back everyone's goods, irrespective of where they bought it from. So it's like, send every Samsung to the Samsung branded so, so, stores. So imagine you walk into all of the Emirates, uh, and we've got the Samsung store upstairs, and you've got every other retailer in there, and they don't want to go through the hassle. They go, go up to the Samsung store. Oh no. Now, we had the option of giving back cash, or trying to sell them the Galaxy S7. Which is a tough sell for a Note 50% user. Bought, bought the S7. Fifty wow. percent, okay, fifty percent, wow. pretty good, uh, pretty good turnover. Fifty yeah. percent. Now, those are people who didn't necessarily buy from us the first time round. So you got a whole flow of new customers, and 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 this is what they understand with the experience. Ah. Interesting. And the fact that you're willing to do this, and you've got the service counter in the store, and you're willing to transfer the data for them, and you you can do all of these things. The experience, and that's the whole brand experience. Yeah. Amazing. And that's what the store is, and even now. Like it's it's straight secret. I'll, I'll I'll keep it a little quiet now. But <laughs> the moment they send someone to our store for service, that's the experience they get. That's it, and that's it. And then, then that's what we need. And then you've captured them. So that you've switched them. What seemed like a challenge ended up being a great opportunity yeah. for you, and you've captured a whole well, new well, audience. Well, that and, and and the fact that is is we had a brand that was growing. I mean, the the number one in 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 in, uh, in the in the mobility space. Uh, with, with with smartphones, the number one in TVs. Um, so the fact that you've got two strong categories as well helps mm. for sure. Yeah. 